So when you was asked, you was definitely, you was asking all the questions that, that everybody I feel wants like to know. The people yeah. really, really been they wanted to, know to hear about from the him. Shooting. They yeah. wanted to know about the shooting. If he knew the people who killed Mo three, yeah. um, the night he got shot, uh, yeah. Roy Lee. Um, me myself, did I asked him? Did you feel like I had anything to do with it? Yeah, e everything. I wanted because I haven't really had since Mo three died. I really haven't talked to him a lot, bro. Yeah, we on Boss Talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. And he now, now that you say that, now that you say yeah. that, something else I was gonna ask you mm -hmm. about when you came on here and you and Charleston had that beef. Was that a fake beef no, to play me on? No, it was Well, no, no, Charleston Town it was fake. Charleston Town ain't even cool with you. I just, cause people call me, man, them niggas faking, man. I said, what? No, man. Nah, yeah, somebody say that to you too? Yeah, somebody called me the other day and was like, is he really into it with Woody? I said, I don't know. <laughs> I think, hey man, so. Woody I think at so. It right now. I think so. I, I seen that too. I think so. I, I think Woody really feel like you know Charleston. I'm gonna say this: Charleston White, in my eyes, is pretending like he's Woody. Think about it. It took him to run. Think about this: Charleston White is pretending to be Woody. Woody is a real rat. Woody still on the stand. Woody, no. Woody really about that the interrogation footage. Of, Charleston White just claims to be a rat. Charleston White don't really be ratting. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Charleston don't really be ratting. Charleston just claim to be a rat. So at the end of the day, it's like you know. I, I think Woody's starting to realize that now nah, I got some real shit going on. I'm really out here in these streets going through it while this nigga just beside me screaming all this stuff out, but it ain't real. It's a character he playing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I believe that that uh, that Woody is looking at Charles like, nah, you gonna get me in some shit, nigga. I'm really, I'm really in it. I'm, I mean, this is real. So you think it's real? I think I, I think Woody started looking at Charles Dwight and say, "Man, I don't know about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I don't know about you. I don't know about running around with you, man. You feel me? Like I said, because he, he he spoke on little Boosie. He said, "Man, you know, I don't think Woody got no disrespect for Boosie whatsoever. I think Woody probably a big Boosie fan, and Charles to put him on blast. Why do you think Boosie won't mention your name? I don't think Woody likes shit like that. Mm. I think he's looking like, ah, oh, man, you kind of yeah. yeah. I'm already at odds with a lot of niggas. I'm trying to be accepted. I'm screaming free young thug and all this. I'm you know I'm trying to be let back into the game. So I think Charles to and Woody now. Nah, that's a good mix, man. We done, mm. Yeah, I don't, that's not I a good." No, man, like I said, I look at it deeper, man. I be looking at who asked the question. No yeah. Jumper asked the question. Adam 22 asked the question, uh, how is his relationship with Charleston White? You guys don't be paying attention. I see a lot of stuff from a different angle. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Who asked the question and why? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all, we do this. We all do this. Yeah. You know, it can, the way you ask a question can really make some things change in some people's lives, bro. Yeah. Like, how important is it to know how to maneuver in an interview? Bro, Sean it's, it's crazy. Like, I mean, you you pick one side, they say you choosing sides. You play both sides, they say you playing both sides. So it's a lose-lose. Yeah. You just can't get too close to any side. You just kind of kind of got to be neutral. Like, even with the Yellow Beezy shit. Yeah. Like, I did the Yellow Beezy. I did two of them in one week. I seen that. I did the solo one, then I did the Charleston one. Yeah, I seen both um, of them. And you know, Rain calls me almost every day, so I we know. talk every day, and I told him it was coming. I said, Rain, we've done four interviews since Mo3 passed. I said, I haven't interviewed Yellow since maybe five years, six years. Do you feel obligated to call Rain, let him know, hey man, nah, I'm out um, Yellow, I'm gonna go up here. I didn't, I didn't feel obligated, but just me as being a friend, yeah. um, I didn't want to blindside him. Yeah. Um, so I'm like, look, this is coming, whether you like it or not. Um, I interviewed you when you wanted to be interviewed about certain things, and Yellow Bees, he has a project coming out. He wants to be interviewed and talk about a lot of things that haven't been addressed yet, and we did it, and he just had to respect it because, um, like I said, I don't want to, I'm not here to choose sides. I'm here to get both sides of the story and leave it alone, and I don't want to drag it out either. Did Yellow want you to take anything out the interview? Did Yellow hit you up after no. him? Did nobody hit no. you like, hey man, take this out. I don't, I don't no. want this part. Of it. Nope. Everything was a Yellow, go. Yellow was like, if you ask me something that I don't want to, I don't want to answer. I'll tell you next question. Yeah. But he was like, let's not set up. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't. I didn't have any pen or pad. I didn't have anything. We just talked about everything that me and him knew out of our relationship. Yeah. Um, he never hated on Mo three to me. Yeah. Um, and Mo three never hated on. They never. It was never really any. They never came to me with any with any with any stories about each other. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, that I could remember. Um, so so when you was at, you was definitely, you was. Asking all the questions that, that everybody I feel wants like to know. The people yeah. really, really been they wanted, wanted to know to hear about from the shooting. Him. They yeah. wanted to know about the shooting. If he knew the people who killed Mo three, yeah. Um, the night he got shot, uh, yeah. Roy Lee, um, me myself. Did I asked him? Did you feel like I had anything to do with it? Yeah. E everything I wanted because I haven't really had 
six mo three dot. I really haven't talked to him a lot, bro. When you asked that question about nigga about him knowing the cats, yeah, you know what I mean. You know, far as him, you know, having a history with the cats who uh, was arrested for the, for the murder of Mo three, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah, that, yeah. I, I had to sit up in my seat when you said that. I was like, man, this yeah, nigga asked like, the question. Yeah, you I was like, man, but I mean, like you said, they, they want to know this. Yeah, people want to know that because there were pictures with Yellow Beezy with certain guys. Yeah, so it was yeah. Like, yeah. And you know, um, and when I talked, when I when I told Rain I was interviewing Yellow, he was like, "Man, just ask him the same shit you ask me. You always ask me the hard." Yeah. yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. Yeah, we gonna talk.